Good morning. It's uh, Monday, May 24th, and uh, this is Dr. Bob Flower with your Master Pattern Report of May 24th. All right, okay, let's see. Last week we saw the uh, euro, uh, we said that the euro would uh, would rally uh, off its current slow, uh, and it did, um, temporarily. We saw a move on silver um, on, on, on the, the 20th, which we, we call for, and in, in fact it did move down 3%. That was, that was a significant move um, uh, on, uh, on Thursday the 20th. Uh, we also uh, had stated and saw that the S&P um, uh, had a, a very slight recovery, which actually was only a hesitation, um, and uh, our overall call for a down move into early uh, June still stands. In fact, uh, the low for the S&P may take us uh, to the uh, 1041 level, um, and if it breaks that, uh, we'll see 1025 uh, before it bounces up. And, and, and we, we believe it'll make a good bounce uh, into the summer. We think we'll see some bad, some of this bad news uh, dissipate uh, temporarily. Uh, okay, um, oil hit our, uh, uh, our uh, resistance level of $68 almost exactly. I think it was off by 16 cents, went to 67 uh, 80, 82 or 83, something, something of that sort, uh, and it's uh, now making a slight recovery. Um, uh, we think it might bounce back here, maybe to 73.50 uh, in that area. Uh, and uh, this Thursday, uh, we see another uh, a move in silver, uh, and. Um, this will more than likely be a, a reverse move. So wherever it's been moving the past uh, the two or three days before, that that's more than likely uh, uh, the the opposite direction which it will take. Uh, it looks like it's trying to make a little bit of a comeback here, but um, uh, I don't think so. Not yet, anyway. Um, it might be a good time for those of you who uh, really believe in it um, to 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 buy some uh, buy some more here. Uh, well, um, socioeconomically, it looks like uh, deflation uh, is uh, well on its way. Uh, where's all the money gone? Folks, it's lost. Um, uh, that is, uh, values have dissipated. Uh, I mean, with the exception maybe of uh, gasoline, and even that's come down to, uh, off its highs, and perhaps food to some degree. Um, it's it's gone. Uh, for example, uh, real estate equity it, it is evaporating like water in the desert. Um, just just every time you turn around, it seems to be another hit. Oh yeah, sure, we're getting little pockets of of, of uh, indicators that the values have stabilized. That the values maybe even t in some instances moved up a little bit. But moved up from where, and and where are they heading overall? Um, there's just too much uh, equity that's been sapped out of the system and continues to be so, and still hasn't um, uh, evidenced itself uh, by virtue of a lot of these bad properties and bad loans uh, are not being put on the market by the banks and, uh, and, uh, and the uh, FDIC. Uh, th there's just uh, too much. Uh, bad debt on the books all over, uh, banking-wise, government-wise, and, 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 and privately, right? Uh, and it's feeding on itself, uh, growing at a very bothersome pace. Uh, it just continues to, 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 to get heavier and, and, and expand uh, in, in greater degrees. Uh, now, as, as governments consider the various uh, measures, Private interests are beginning to take action. Uh, we see that, for instance, uh, with uh, unemployment. People are just not hiring, or if they're hiring, uh, they're hiring uh, temporarily and at much different um, levels than what they did before. Next, we're going to see it with public sector raises that, that are they're not going to happen. Uh, following that, we will see the great battle between the unions, 
uh, public and private interests. This will be the uh, fighting in the streets scenario that, that we've been talking about. Why? How come? Uh, because the breakdown of law and order will escalate dramatically, as we've been predicting for the last three years. I mean, come on, look at uh, <laughs> look at the uh, the federal government and, and uh, the um, Department of Justice saying that they probably wouldn't go along with enforcing um, Arizona law, which, by the way, is already on the federal books. Um, very, very similar. Um, so I, I, this this is a contention of um, of forces of supposedly justice denying each other or challenging each other. I mean, if that isn't a breakdown in law and order, I, I don't know what is, folks. Um, and if you want to see it worse, if you want to see the fighting in the streets, stick around. Stick around, especially if you're sitting around. Uh, you continue to sit around. I suggest that you uh, you get your shooting skills lined up if that's the way you want you you, you want to play it, um, because you, you will see you you will see that 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 type of breakdown a lot worse than what you saw in Greece. Don't forget, Greece, Portugal, Spain, Europe, they're they're socialist countries. Right? We're not socialist country. We were not born with that concept in mind. And if we try and pursue that concept and then have to have breakdowns because of that concept, um, yeah, you're gonna see you're gonna see the American Revolution all over again, folks. And I'm not I'm not a proponent of of, of, of fighting or shooting in the streets. Um, I'm just telling you that uh, I, I I can see that happening very easily. The master pattern is showing all kinds of ugly stuff. Uh, going on, you know, a year from now. So, let's you know, let's let's get with the program. Um, and what is the answer? What is the program? Well, the answer is a new concept of social, economic, and human governance. Uh, we have found that format in what we call potentia, the potentia nation, uh, and that that is uh, a belief uh, that there is a very powerful energy within the human spirit that can conquer anything and achieve everything. Um, the massive pattern is, is a symbol of that. Um, I would ask all of you to uh, kindly set up speaking engagements uh, so that we can um, present and discuss this marvelous concept and explain how we can use it and how we can, um, we can use it to prevail, to, to take back things and, and make our make our whole entire system viable again, right? Uh, now, to that end, I'd like you to contact um, our PR department. You could, uh, Janet is the head of the PR. Uh, you can reach uh, Janet at, take this number down, 914-779-6299. Uh, we can make this happen, folks, and I, and I want to see it happen. Uh, more than anybody, because I, I, I the way to, to um, change a prediction or change the future is by the human spirit, uh, is by uh, intelligence, uh, very strong positive emotion, and physicality, materiality, getting out there and make it happen. So... Uh, I hope that you'll join me in, in attempting to um, save our republic and uh, to make, uh, make ourselves uh, a better life for ourselves and uh, future generations. This is uh, Grandpa Flower saying have a great week.